Here's a reality that crashes predictors are completely ignoring. The United States has a housing shortage of 3.2 million units. That's not my opinion. That's data from Freddie Mac, the National Association of Realtors, and every major housing research firm in the country. After 2008, home builders got completely burned. Annual housing storage dropped from 2.1 million units to 500,000 units in 2009 and they stayed historically low for the next decade. Meanwhile, population kept growing. Millennials, the largest generation in history, started forming households. Immigration continued, but we weren't building nearly enough homes to meet that demand. From 2010 to 2020, we needed 1.5 million new homes annually just to keep the pace with population growth. We built an average of 1.1 million. That's 400,000 units annual shortfall for 10 straight years is how we ended up with a 3.2 million deficit. And here's what happened. We're still not building enough. Even with construction ramping up in 21 and 23, we're only hitting 1.4 million units annually. So not only are we not closing the gap, we're still falling behind by 100,000 units every single year. Now tell me, in what universe does a market with 3.2 million units shortage experience a massive price crash? It's economically impossible. But what about mortgage rates? The crash predictors 